Song to Energy on Design again with another tutorial on InDesign. So today we're going to build on the layout we started um, with flow and text into multiple boxes, and then we added an image, and we put an image, uh, we put a text wrap on so around this image box, so it flows around the image. So now we're going to talk about style sheets. So with any document, uh, you want to start setting up styles. So you might have a header. You have some body text, you may have a caption, you may have a subhead. Um, you always want to set those as styles. So there are two different kinds of styles. One is a paragraph style sheet or a paragraph style, and the other one is a character style. You want to use paragraph styles for areas that are controlled in the paragraph. So for instance, if you have a header, this So we have a header that we're going to call the green buggy, and we're going to change that to um, so our headline is considered a paragraph. So let's say we want to make that um, we'll make it you know Helvetica, and we'll make it you know twenty four point. Let's make it bold. So here's our header, our headline, and you know we may have, or oh, in this case, will be a subhead probably. Um, maybe let's make that maybe a little smaller, 18 maybe. Let's say you have uh, multiple headlines on here. Well, you can set the style. You can set your headers to a style. So you may have multiple pages, 100 pages, where you have every subhead is exactly the same size. You wouldn't want to go in. And manually, you know, double click on this and then put all the you know keystrokes in and put the font and the size and the lettering and whatever other attributes this um, header might have or subhead might have. So you wouldn't want to do is you want to go to window styles and select paragraph styles. And a paragraph style by default comes in as basic. So you have to set that style. So the best thing to do is to select the font that you want to make it a style, and then go to this little arrow and say create new paragraph style. And it's a good practice to name your styles exactly what it is. So if this is a header or a subhead, in this case, because it's a brochure, it's probably a subhead, I'll name it subhead. If it was body, I'll name it body. Um, if you go down the list here, you can see um, it's, it's pulled in, this information from here is pulled in here. So you can, and then you can go in afterwards, and you can play around with some of the spacing, if you want spacing before and after. Um, if you have tabs on some of the elements, like a, like they may have a, a list that's going uh, horizontally, you might want ta to tab that over. Um, you can put a rule above and beyond, and you can preview this stuff before. So if you want to have a rule above, a one point rule. Um, you can play that's a line that goes on top. You can play around with those and you can kind of see everything happening in real time. So we'll just keep it simple and just apply and you could also apply color too. So let's let's apply a color. Let's apply a green. Now it's not gonna change because we haven't applied the style to the actual element yet. So you can see we named it subhead, but it's still selected as basic paragraph. So you have to actually click subhead. And then it'll actually change. So if we were to then create another text box, so let's say we let's say we wanted to uh, move this headline or this uh, uh, subhead into a different part. So let's say we have um, green buggies. Let's say let's say our second subhead was here. New tires. So we're talking about you know new tires on the on the green buggy. So let's we can select this right here and we can apply the style. Now it's selected because we have our entire paragraph selected. So if I were to separate this, it'll be different. By hitting the return key, it becomes a different paragraph. So we'll fix this. I'll show you if this happens how to fix that. So right now we have this entire area right here 
is basic. We want to make that text. We want to make that a style sheet. We'll name it text or body text. So with some of the text selected, I'm going to then create a new paragraph style. And I'm going to call it body text. Notice the basic character is telling you it's 12 point. Okay, we'll leave all that the way it is. Say OK. We now have to apply by selecting this text. It'll still say paragraph. You have to apply it to body text. Now you see nothing changed, but it did because if you select this one, you'll see it goes back to paragraph. So you gotta select the text that you want to be the body and make that body text. Notice this one that we changed is set to subhead. So we can go in there, select that, and make that body text. So there goes my header, my subhead goes back up. Similarly with this, you select all of this. Now once you hit the return key, it notices the paragraph. You can actually just click once and click body and it'll change. The entire thing is now body. Over here it needs to be body, so we select that, make that body. This is probably not the best way to do a subhead in a separate box. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this out of the box. I'm gonna remove this box. And I'm gonna place right in front of the first line. I'm gonna I'm gonna paste that header in, hit return. So here's my notice notice this little plus sign. It means I made a change to the body. So I have to make sure I hit a return on there. And I'll select this again. That's body. This. See, it's saying body text. I have to go over here now and hit subhead. So you shouldn't have any plus signs in here. A plus sign means that you've changed something within the styles. Within the actual, manually change it and not in the style. If you want to change something, you want to make sure that you have um, change it in the style sheet. So if you don't like that green and you want, or you want to make it larger, you want to click on the style. Go in here, you know, maybe make this 24 point, and you can see it once you click on a different box, you can see it actually changing on the fly. Um, if you want to put a different color, you can change the color, you can see it changing automatically. So this, this little preview button here is very helpful, so you don't have to keep going back and forth. So we'll change that. Um, We'll say OK. And you can play with your paragraph indents and spacing. So let's say you wanted more space after. You can you can click on this little space after button right here and add a little space after. You see how it moves automatically. If you needed more space. So you can you can and you can type numbers in there incrementally. You could also have space before and space after. So that's you know your paragraph style sheet. Um, your character style sheets are if you want to change characters within a paragraph. So let's say you want to have something that was bold or italics. It's a good example. So let's say you were the first line you want to make it bold. If you went here and you manually did Minion Pro bold, you'd see how your styles had a little plus sign on it. So you don't want that. What you want to do is, you can make it bold. But what you want to do is you, you can create a character style sheet by going to Window, styles character styles now with this selected on the bold you can move your character styles here so character styles will will only uh, adjust or change characters in a paragraph so you can then choose new character style I'll call that body text bold and I'll bring in my basic formats uh, I believe it's minion pro bold I'll keep it the same size. I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to say OK. Now again, after you change the character, you create a character style, you have to select the element and then click on body text bold. Notice the plus sign goes away. Because it knows that within this body of body text, there is a character style or something different, but it's selected here. So if I can if I want to change this, I can double click on it again. Maybe I'll give it a color this time. You can see it changing on the fly because I have the preview on. If I want to make the character maybe a little bit bigger, I wouldn't really do this in real life, but if you just to show you, if you wanted to make it 14 point, you can actually see it changing on the fly. So you want to change everything in your character 
style sheets. Similarly, if you wanted to make this italics, you wanted to make something italics, you wouldn't go and actually manually make it italics and leave it. You can make it italic, you get your plus sign again, then you can, with it selected, go back to your character styles, create a new style, let's call that body text and then you would select Minion Pro, Italic, and then you have to go and actually select it. There goes your plus sign away. So you can have, you'll have multiple styles in here, captions, headers. Um, so separate your body, your um, paragraph styles from your uh, character styles. Anything that's going to change the entire paragraph is your paragraph style. Anything that's going to change within the paragraph it's your character styles. So every time you select this, you'll see bold. When you select this, you'll see. And this will change everywhere. So if I have another style over here that wants to be bold, all I have to do is just select it and choose bold. And if over here is going to be italics, I'll change that italics. So now all I have to do, if I want to make this color different, just go into the body Right, character style, go in here and change the color if I want, and they both change at the same time. So this character style sheets and paragraph style sheets really, really work well in big documents. A brochure, definitely, but anything like a newsletter, publication, multi-page document, where you have 50, 100 pages, multiple styles, this is the way you want to do it because clients will come and say they want a font changed or you want something different or like that color and if you have to manually go in there and fix every one of those it'll take you forever so this is the industry standard you definitely want to use styles you don't want to have a little plus signs in there you want to use character styles and, and paragraph styles effectively and they will surely uh, speed up your workflow and make your work way more efficient and if you were to pass this document to anyone else uh, they will expect that styles uh, are set and they are properly done. So um, that's all I have today. Um, we talked about uh, character style sheets and paragraph style sheets. And um, hope you learned something in this video. Come back soon. Bye.